Mr. Blatter, first, first off, people want to know why you've come to Moscow. What's the reason? Well, it's, uh, it's, um, uh, it's a lovely reason because I have been invited uh, to come to Moscow. It's uh, already more than one year ago I received an invitation. Uh, from, from Mr. Putin? From Mr. Putin. You come to the World Cup. He has sent the same invitation also to Mr. Platini, to be correct. And uh, now, uh, approaching the World Cup, uh, I have got an invitation by the local organizing committee uh, to visit uh, uh, for a few days. Uh, and they have prepared a program uh, starting yesterday in, uh, in Moscow and going to Petersburg. And at the end of the week, I will fly back. So it was, it was for me, for me, it was uh, uh, lovely to come here after this uh, good start of the World Cup. And when I came in yesterday in this hotel, and uh, Swiss television was, they wanted to make a show on me, but there was such a lot of people in the entry of the hotel, the photographs and uh, journalists and uh, so on. So I had the impression uh, that it's my World Cup. Your <laughs> but, World Cup? But it's not my this World Cup. This is your World Cup? No, it's not my World Cup, but I had the impression that time has not stopped since I went to, to the World Cup, the right. last one, which was the 214. And yet you stand banned by FIFA, but you're Suspended. coming... Suspended. Well, yes, but, banned, you're, and banned, you're coming yeah. from, but you're meeting football officials. This is, a, this is breaking the ban, surely. No, 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 no. I have, Why not? Because I am suspended, and the suspension is as a FIFA president. And the suspension is the same that if I would be a referee, a coach or a player, he still has the right to go to the practice, he still has to go to the stadium. I but, can but, go but you're to involved the in football activity, that's against the ban, surely? I am not in football activities, I am a personal guest here today. Right, so it's purely so I am a not, personal I, I am not involved in football activities. Right, but can you understand that your presence here is a huge potential embarrassment to FIFA? No, it, it should not be an embarrassment to FIFA. If FIFA would have a little bit of respect, knowing that I have an official invitation to come here, uh, they should have added an uh, additional or an additional invitation to, for me by saying, OK, if you are coming on official invitation, please be also our guest. This would be the respect. Is FIFA a clean organisation now? Is it an honest organisation? I think uh, the organization has always been honest in always. FIFA. Yeah, the organization of FIFA, but individuals are not uh, honest. So that and, was the problem. And this was, this was the problem, yeah. But you were in charge for 17 years when these individuals were being dishonest. Yes, uh, I was in charge, but um, I am not appointed all this. Uh, they are uh, appointed by the, uh, the confederations and not by the Congress of FIFA. The Congress of FIFA is only voting or electing the president, and then the president has a government, which is not a, uh, it is cohabitation, uh, like uh, in some countries this happens. So this is, um, it, this, is the case. this was the case, and uh, this has then produced um, a situation uh, which was a very nasty situation. But you personally remain under investigation by the Attorney General, by the Swiss authorities, for allegations of financial mismanagement. You've always completely denied that. Do you continue to deny it? Yeah, sure, because uh, they have opened this case in, uh, in uh, September 2011, no, 2011, uh, 2015, uh, a case which was already dealt with in the Congress of 2011 by Swiss, uh, uh, the, by uh, the, uh, the Football Association, uh, by the Federation. And uh, why they open a case uh, four years later, uh, this is also a, a, a questionable, and uh, you have realized that Mr. Platini is in this case also involved, uh, but he. Um, well, he was paid one point three million dollars for allegedly. for this. Uh, yeah, but it was a salary paid uh, too late, but it was a salary. And that's perfectly and, okay, and, so far as you and, see it. And this is uh, this is now. Um, they have opened the case just now again. And you will see until the end of, uh, not the World Cup, but uh, during the fall, uh, this case will be, will be solutioned. 
So how do you look back then on your 17 years in charge of, of FIFA? How would you describe your achievements? Well, my achievements were that to, to, develop, uh, to develop football. I was 41 years in, uh, in uh, FIFA and starting to develop football. And that's what we have done. Football is played everywhere in the world and football is organized. Uh, football has a social, uh, uh, cultural aspect to bring people together. It is a school of life. Um, and then um, we had the opportunity uh, to go into a wonderful wedding party, it was with television, uh, when uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, private television came in and also most of the state-owned television open to advertising and publicity and then this gave a big, big boom, not only to FIFA, to the football and now football is uh, a an, uh, an player on the economic side and if you are in the social, cultural and economic, you touch politics. Sure, and yet, and and, yet and then FIFA, FIFA has become a byword for corruption and you have come personally to personify corruption according to your critics. Yeah, according to the critics. But uh, <laughs> listen, uh, the, uh, the, the decision taken by the Ethics Committee, they have expressly verbis, they have... Uh, put, in, uh, put out the word bribery and corruption. They're out. It's nothing for that. They said it's bad management, but bad management should not be dealt with by the ethics committee. So something was wrong. And, um, it but somebody has to deal with bad management. And there seems evidence, you yourself admit there is evidence of corruption that people took payments which they shouldn't have done. No. You've told no, us that. No, 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 no. I do not admit that there is corruption in FIFA. I admit that people are corrupt, but not FIFA. FIFA as organization is not corrupt. You can... Uh, but that's the same thing. If you are corrupt in FIFA, then FIFA becomes corrupted. Don't you see but that? But I am not corrupt. But if the people in FIFA are corrupt, FIFA is corrupt. That's No, you, that's you cannot obvious. say that... Uh, no. You cannot say because you have corruption in the United Nations that the United Nations is corrupt. It's only because of football, everybody is going to football. But you see your but, critics would say that's just Yeah, semantics. but let the critics say, let, let them say, let them play football now and the critics will then say something when everything will be solved during this year. It will be solved, it sure. will be solved. Let's talk about your meeting with Vladimir Putin. What, what's that for? What do you want to talk about? Well, first of all, it has not yet been confirmed that I will see Mr. Putin. That's, that's an, another thing. And I am a, a, a guest. I'm not going to speak with him. I will speak the World Cup, definitely, if I'm, uh, if I'm there. Yeah. Looking back, on, you were there for 17 years, and obviously you, you, you stand accused of still being investigated over financial um, issues. What is your definition of financial honesty? How do you define it? What is honesty? But honesty is to serve uh, uh, whatever we are serving. And I'm a server from the very beginning of my life. I'm a server. I, I started to work in the hotels as a, a, a boy of 12 years. I was always serving. Honesty is serving. If you serve somebody and you get some money for the serving, then this is honesty. Let's talk about briefly about Qatar, much criticised to have a World Cup in the desert and have it in the winter. A lot of construction workers died in building the stadiums there. What, and you were the boss, what would you say to the families of those people who lost their lives? Well, listen, <laughs> uh, and, uh, somebody, um, when they make a stadium in... Uh, in, uh, in um, in uh, Porto Alegro, in, uh, in Brazil, the, the, for the other year, and uh, one of uh, of the workers, he fell down and he died. Who is responsible? Blatter. I am not responsible for that. I'm, I'm not who, saying. Who, who, I'm saying. What would you say to the families yeah, who to lost the, their their fathers? Yeah. Their okay, husbands. but they were looking for uh, for opportunities to work. This this is a national matter, and this is not a matter of that, FIFA. That's all you say. Uh, but listen, I would, uh, I would say I, I am sorry, but uh, you have to say, uh, you have to know why the World Cup went to, to, uh, to, uh, to Qatar. And why it went to Qatar? By political intervention. I know. It's just, it seems strange. I asked that question three times before you say sorry. 
No, that I am sorry about that. If you if you look my book, my new book, it's coming out. Or it, it will be translated. I am sorry for all what has happened. I'm sorry, not only three times after you you asked me. Critics say when we'll end up with a World Cup in Qatar, which is going to be played in the middle of the winter, obviously disruptive. The critics will say, well, that's yeah, but that's, this, a, that's but proof listen, it shouldn't happen. Listen, what, what we do you can say? speak about that an hour if you want, but I don't go into the matters which has been decided. And this matter has been decided. It is not right according to the critics, but according to the principles of FIFA, it has been decided. And even the new uh, presidency of FIFA, they have confirmed there is no other issue than to play this World Cup in Qatar. So the discussion, the discussion for me, it's over. And yet, for you, the investigations continue. Do you, do you lose sleep over those investigations? Are you anxious about that? Or are you completely confident you will be clear? I have done nothing wrong. Tell me what I have done wrong. If you are a judge, I would be happy that now they, uh, they uh, terminate this, uh, this matter in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the Swiss justice. And they will do it. They will do it. What so, they will do. So sum up for me those 17 years when you ran... FIFA, how would you look back on that? What, how would you describe your, your achievement? Well, I just said that uh, we made the, the, the world uh, happy with football. And, and this is now, this is now uh, you see the uh, realisation that has been done now. Uh, you see that uh, what, what has happened today and yesterday and in the next days and uh, all around the world. This is football, and this is the World Cup, number one. So let, let it be. Let, let, let have the, the pleasure in the game. And don't come back with old stories. This is, this is uh, you should make, you should align, align somewhere in life. Also, uh, journalists should do, should do that. And not come back always with the same old question, the old question. This is not good. Because life well, is going... we ask them because the investigations uh, continue. Yeah, life is going... But let the investigation finish. And then, then come back and then we will see. Mr Blatter, thanks very much indeed. Okay. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.